Welcome back to the Shadow of Wait. Broken Sword. Shadow of Ten Plus, okay. Uh last time we found some place. No. Let's see if there's anything we can use on this door. Hmm. Oh no. Oh no. Um what? I just heard a goat. Hmm. Anyways, how was your day? How have you been? I've been nice. Though I haven't been sleeping well or what? Oh well. Oh well, nothing we can do with that then. Nice. Okay, so next one. Well, let's start with that one. Because I... Uh, it's, it's been a few days, but I kind of remember... That I tried to do things with the chain. Actually, I sh Nah. I should just... Uh, should have started with the chain it's things. Time for some brutal destruction. Hey, that's hollow. I'd poked a hole in an historical site. How was... Any archaeologists came by, they'd lynch me for this. There was some sort of mechanism hidden inside the wall, with a lever in the middle of it. Here goes. The secret door had jammed. I couldn't get through that gap. Yeah, there was something different about each of these doors, but I can't remember what was so different about this one. I'd pull the lever right over. Can I use this? Yes. Didn't even have to press it. <laughs> Boyant. Well, let's go and see what's... Ooh. Boy, had I ever made a mess of that door. Mm, this one there and then... Mm, let's see what's in here first. Might be an item. In the beginning was oh, the end. An end wrought by our enemies began our darkness. In the end will be a beginning. An end to our enemies heralds our new day. What the? The military establishments are in flux. The end of the Cold War has left them with no clear goal and as obvious targets for budgetary cuts. We have successfully promoted a sense of betrayal in the upper echelons. They feel that the politicians have cast them adrift. The pattern is emerging. Our time is now. Good. Mademoiselle? Governments are giving the corporations more respect than their own citizens. A groundswell of dissatisfaction and dissidence is growing. The corporations are becoming too large and complex for their own executive to control them. A blind belief in market forces is accelerating this trend the world over. The pattern is emerging. Our time is now. The global population's belief in those that govern it has never been lower. We have inculcated a sense of immediacy and action over forethought and planning in all the major governments. They are acting on hasty decisions that cannot be completed or revoked without appearing foolish. The pattern is emerging. Our time is now. Excellent. The tired old governments are dying a slow death from their own incompetence and our machinations. Poor 
professor. Where is the broken sword? Ah, as we discussed last time, with the loss of the manuscript, our search is as a corollary hindered. And as discussed last time, you have been furnished with a dramatically increased budget. What have you been doing with our money, Professor? We are working on the principle that the Templars, <clears throat> that is to say our predecessors, hold on, these are the Templars? Must have left a trail when they were hiding the clues to the sort of Baphomet's location. I have a small army of historians and archaeologists ferreting out that trail. I trust these historians and archaeologists are more trustworthy than your friend Pigram. Pigram was loyal. He tried to protect the Lokmarn gem when the Hashashin came near. And failed. And don't call that Syrian maniac the Hashashin. He's an assassin. Plain and simple. That's not what he believes. He actually thinks. Silence! Do I have to remind you that we have a sacred duty? A trust? When Philippe attempted to destroy the Order, we lost the sword and our power with it. Now we have the opportunity to reforge it. But time is short. We need results. Not petty bickering. Not excuses. Now, Professor Baphomet. Yes, of course, my apologies. We will find Baphomet and the sword, manuscript or no. We have already found another element, actually the very nice. Excellent. What is it? Well, we're not exactly sure at present. Ha! But I have my best people working on it. You would do well not to criticize others, Eklund. At least I have not murdered one of our own. Of course. That guy was the bogus doctor in the hospital. Marquet was a liability. Eklund dealt with him on my orders. I beg your pardon, Grandmaster. I did not mean to. Have you any good news for us, Professor? We already know three of the elements. We know that Klausner had obtained the lens before he vanished. Where was he? Syria. We know that he arrived, but after that, nothing. The assassin. I fear so. It's a shame. Klausner was a good operative. This will be our last meeting in person until we locate the sort of Baphomet. I hope that I don't need to emphasize the importance of finding it. Without it, our endeavors come to nothing. With the sword reforged, we will have the power to sweep the stage of all opposition. The next time that we meet, it will be to become the princes of this world. Wow. <laughs> Oh, oh well, oh well. Um, yeah, seems like we found the Templars. Let's go if they dropped anything. Let's go see if they dropped anything. Ooh. There was a large circle marked out on the floor with a stump in the middle. Around the circle, I could see words inlaid into the stone. On the circle's circumference were the Templar seal and two Latin phrases, non omnis moriar and clarior e tenebris, I shall not die completely, the brighter from the darkness. Hmm. Also, there are slots. The tripod's feet fitted neatly into the notches on the top of the stump. And we have the... Putty for there. I couldn't do that. Dang. Oh, let's just put it 
there. And the light falling yeah. from above struck the gem and scattered in five neat rays. And each ray picked out a letter. Starting from the left, I could read M A R I B. Marib. Now all I had to do was figure out what the heck that meant. But uh, I mean, what if you Nico, had? I've seen them. Who? The Templars. I spied on their meeting in the catacombs. And you saw the Knight Templar? I saw a bunch of guys masquerading as Templars. They're after something called the Sword of Baphomet. The bogus doctor was there. The guy who killed Marquet. The manuscript is the key, just as we thought. It shows the way to the broken sword, whatever that is. And how does the assassin fit into all this? He's out to stop them. These Neo-Templars, they're men and women in influential positions. Don't you see? Plantar was one of them. The assassin killed him for the manuscript to stop them finding the sword. But now we have got the manuscript. Yes. So how do they hope to find the sword? I don't know. They said something about a lens and a guy called Klausner who's gone to Syria. But they didn't seem to realize the significance of the very site of their meeting. You see, after they'd gone, I discovered a stone pedestal and a carved inscription. I set up the gem on the tripod, directly below a beam of light. The gem split the beam and lit the letters M-A-R-I-B. Marip is a village in Syria. Then the Neo-Templars are ahead of us. Klausner beat me to it. You're not thinking of going there yourself, are you? Why not? These guys are crazy and dangerous. That reminds me, you should leave the gem here. Okay. What about the tripod? I'll send it back to Andre. Anonymously. Hmm. Uh huh. So Uh that is not a fine. good idea. Oh, well, let's see if there's something about this. Let's take another look at the manuscript. I mean, this one we did. I think then these two are next. Three. These three. There's a guy with a sword and a bull. Between them is... There's a guy working on a loom. A knight. The knight's through my... Uh-huh. There's a woman looking at the reflect. Look there. Okay, sure. Uh, Do you want this photograph back? No, you keep. So is Khan actually kind of a good guy? Do you think I should go to Marib? Syria is a long way, George. Sure. Yay. Huh. These guys seem a bit odd. Hi, uh, I was wondering whether you could help me. Why, sure, son. Always got time for a fellow American. The name's Henderson. Dwayne Henderson. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Henderson. Hell, boy. I'm not in the office. Call me Dwayne. Oh, okay. Dwayne? My name's George Stobart. And yeah, I'm not talking about the whole Syria thing, I'm just talking about the character design. What are these options? Also, why is this cow so low? Do you think bulls have any significance around here? Weird question, George. Nope, I don't think they have. I saw a medieval picture of a woman. Royalty or nobility, something like that. She was looking in a mirror, but the reflection was of a man with three faces. What do you think of that? Well, I think you should be in therapy. I feel like this guy is gonna be some military guy or some person in power, something like that. Do you mind if I ask you an odd question? Okay, but I might not answer it. Do you know anything about the Templars? The Knights Templar? Yep. Nope. Nothing at all. Well, you knew they were an order of knights. What I know and what I say 
are two different things, boy. I haven't lasted as long as I have in this business without knowing that. In this business? Sure. The greetings card business. Oh, please. Yeah, it's not gonna be a greeting card business. Does the image of a knight holding a crystal ball mean anything to you? Hell no. What would a knight want with a hunk of glass? I don't know. That's the problem. What's wrong, boy? It's not a crystal ball. It all came together in my head. What the conspirators had mentioned losing. The strange perspective of the manuscript. It's a lens. Huh. Could it be the one that was in the church? You're a long way from home, Dwayne. Could say the same about you, George. Me? Well, I'm just sightseeing, that's all. Without a camera? Kinda lags to come all this way and not take pictures. Mind if I take a picture of you, George? What? Uh, why? Ow! You could've warned me. You don't mind, do you, George? The folks back home will be real interested. Hmm. Oh, is that his wife? What exactly do you do, Dwayne? Didn't I say? Oh, I run a greeting card company. Yep, we're based in Cleveland, Ohio. Pearl writes the poems for him. You ought to ask her to recite some. Yeah, it's not gonna be that. They're a bit too suspicious. Or, 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 they are going to die. Where is your wife, Dwayne? Pearl? Oh, she's around, looking for bargains. How long have you been married, Dwayne? Hell, must be, uh, 30 years now. Hmm. Shake hands, Dwayne. Why? I'm just being friendly. Let's just be friendly by keeping our hands to ourselves. Yeah? Yeah, he seems a bit too smart. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Have you seen this man before? Maybe. Where'd you get it? I just picked it up somewhere. Sure. I'm always picking up photos of complete strangers and then asking around. Ow! Damn it! There. I've got another picture of a complete stranger. Maybe I'll ask around about this one. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think that's... Okay, well, I'll see you around, Dwayne. Count on it, George. Let's talk to the locals. Hey there, young fella. Speaky you the English? Speaker you the Anglais, eh? Ooh. Uh, Parlez-vous Anglais? Yes, si, and indeed we, oui. And rather better than you by the sound of it. My name is Nicho. Welcome to my grand emporium of quality merchandise. Huh. Merchandise, eh? So, this is your stand? Oh, yes, sir. Though stand does not begin to do it justice. The finest in this bustling metropolis. This is a bustling metropolis? Well, not per se, no. Where are you looking at? Uh... I don't like it. How much are those books there on the shelf? Have you any Syrian pounds? I think I might have a couple of Irish pund. Then they're too expensive for you, sir. Uh-huh. You speak very good English. Thank you, sir. I learned from tapes that my uncle procured. Oh, a language course. No, sir. Jeeves and Wooster. Gussie, Fink, Nottle, Aunt Agatha, Wothall. Uh, I can relate to that. <laughs> Except for me, it was Jeeves and Wooster and the uh, keeping up the appearance as well as the faulty towers and few other shows. What do you know about that couple? Oh, they're American. Is that all? The chap's a little odd. As for the lady, it's a funny thing, but I get the impression she's a lot cleverer than she's letting on. 
Does the word Templar mean anything to you? Templar. Ah, Templar. <gasps> Templar. Why, yes, of course. It does? Yes. A splendid series of books by Mr. Leslie Chatteris, featuring the roguish Mr. Simon Templar. Great. That's a real help, Nijo. Anything else? The Saint television program, featuring Mr. Roger Moore of the Quizzical Eyebrow and a stick man with a halo. Bing! Uh huh. So all Templar means to you is Roger Moore. I only watched it for the stick man with the halo. Bing! He was better animated. So I'm correct in saying that the word Templar doesn't mean much to you. Well, there was the Order of Knights who were wiped out in an Inquisition in 1312, I suppose. That's them. What else do you know? Just how much information do you think there is on a Trivial Pursuit card? A what? From the medieval edition. We had it on the stand a couple of years ago. Ask me what a futer is. Go on, I know all this stuff. Uh, never mind. Okay, forget about the Templars for a minute. What do you know about knights? Like the Crusaders, they came to the East on an insane and pointless mission. They sacrificed thousands of lives, including their own, for insensate pride. How anyone can find them romantic confounds me. I mean, people romanticize a lot of things. Like romance. Ancient Romans. I have nothing against current Romans because I don't even know them. What do you make of this? Well, beyond the obvious, very little. That pattern seems very familiar, though. Hmm. Here, shake hands, Nijo. I'd rather not, sir. Fine. So long, Nijo. Toodle peep, sir. Oh. Okay then. I hadn't come all this way to seek out curios. Well, let's rub some pussy. Okay, what kind of Rube Goldberg machine I have to make for this? I hadn't come all this way to Yeah, I gotta get that. Mm, I'm not sure. Well, let's talk to the wife. Whoever it was, Edna or something like that. I think. Hello. I was wondering whether you could help me. Why, hi there, handsome. What can I do for you? Hi, my name's George. I was just... Well, it's certainly a delightful to meet you, George. I was... My name's Mrs. Henderson, but you can call me Pearl, I'm sure. Okay, Pearl. I was... So nice to meet a friendly American face so far from home. Pearl? Yes, dear? I was just wondering if you could help me. Why, sure, precious. <sighs> Does this matchbook mean anything to you? You're a philomenist? Don't they have secret handshakes? Oh, George, now you're teasing. Um, mm, I mean, your husband's are dead, so... I liked her too much to zap her with the buzzer. Have you ever heard of a group of knights called the Templars? Sounds familiar. I remember. Dwayne had a book. The Holy Something and the Holy Something Else I can't quite recall. I read a little of it. And? Seemed like a lot of hooey to me. Hmm. I've been talking to your husband, Dwayne. Oh. Yeah, he tells me that he runs a greeting card company and you write the poems that go in them. Oh, yes, indeed. I consider myself the artiste of the family. Tell me, George, would you like to hear one of my poems? Eh, uh, sure. Yes, go on, then. Okay, then, darling, here we go. Our sympathy upon this time when your heart doth break. I like the dot. Classy, isn't it? We know the grief that must entail when your schnauzer gets bitten by a snake. Ah, it still touches me. 
What do you think, George? It's very specific, isn't it? You think so? We sell a lot of those here. Hmm. I mean, I got that one for free, so... Haha! <laughs> so, tell me a little about yourself, Pearl. Me? Oh, a gentleman's interest is always so flattering. Well, my husband and I run a greetings card company in a cute little place called Akron in Ohio. Akron? Cute? Little? You said that your company is based in but Akron. But didn't he... And Dwayne said it's in Cleveland, no doubt. Well, yes, he did. Dwayne was in the Marines and Vietnam, you know. Anyway, he got a medical discharge. Thing is, he gets confused. We moved away from Cleveland five years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... He also gets a little paranoid. Thinks he's a spy or something. I'm so sorry, Pearl. Don't worry yourself, George. We live with it. Yeah, there's something. These two are a bit too suspicious, or did. Have you talked to the boy or both? The brick stand? Oh, you've met him? His name's Nijo, you know. Oh, he's just so cute, I could die. I'd love to bundle him up and take him back to Ohio. He might not thank you. I'm looking for something ancient, you know. Something to impress the folks back home. The poor boy was trying to do his best, but we still haven't found anything. Do you know anything about medieval weaving? I do a little needlework, but gosh. It's okay. It was a long shot. Yeah, I think... Well, let's ask about the picture and then talk to the merchant. Have you seen this man before? No. A friend of yours? No, not really. Hmm. I've got to go now, Pearl. It's been a pleasure, George. Don't be a stranger. How did this guy make a living selling useless old machine parts in the middle of nowhere? The stand was hawking ancient machine parts. <clears> hmm. <throat> Though they some other place. The merchant was selling fruit. I decided I might have some later. Let's go and see if we can get elsewhere also. No. I figured going out into the countryside was a pretty good way to get lost. Fine, let's talk to them... ...then first. Hi, what's your name, sir? Hello, hello, you buy kebab. Muskul. Uh-huh. What do you think of this? Buy kebab? Come to the... I'd value your opinion on this, sir. Nah. You buy kebab? None? Yeah, he's evil. Well, goodbye. Have a nice day. Most good. The stand had kebabs dangling from the canopy. As a marketing device, it lacked something. Yeah, he's evil. Gotta be. <laughs> well, well <laughs> he seems trustworthy. <laughs> Oh, real Jeffa over here. Muruba, hello there. Uh huh. Let's get ourselves captured. Does this mean anything to you? Yes, yes. Carpet, yes. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? Ah, give to me, give to me. Allah mut. Beneficent meeting, my most fortunate possible friend. Huh? Do I know you, mister? No. No. And again I say, no. But, my friend, do you not see our mutual good fortune in this meeting? How frank do you want me to be? You are a traveler, yes? Boy, you must be the world's greatest detective. No. I am told that is Sherlock Holmes of the big forehead and slipper full of shag. I, as contrast, am world's greatest luxury taxi driver. I can see where this is going. I am Ultar, taxi driver and luxury guide per excellence, yes. This I had to hear. Where does your heart desire to go? 
Simply mention the name to your obedient servant, and we shall fly there, swift as the eagle. Oh, well, I don't really want to leave Marib yet, but I'm sure that if I do, you'll be the first to know. Is good. You know where you want to go, you come to Ulta. Thanks. See you around, Ultar. Be having a pleasant day, full of shining experiences and happiness, my friend. Hmm. Well, I think I'll end it here. I go to the club and let's see what have I meant to do. Uh. Okay. Actually, let's check out this bathroom, maybe. Damn, the door's locked. Uh, I'm sorry. Did did you say something? He say you not to go in toilet. Read sign, matey. Matey? It lose something in translation. By staring hard at the notice and squinting, I discovered I couldn't understand a word of it. Nice. Oh well, oh well, yep. Uh, I think this is it for the episode. On the next episode, let's see if we can find some lenses and maybe capture an assassin or two. Until then. Bye bye.